Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, we are presenting our group project for CSC 574, Dynamic Web Application Development. Our system title is Bodies Online eBuzzer System. First of all, I would like to introduce my group members. Our group leader, Nur Shamimi Binti Adnan. Next is Siti Salwa Binti Shuhur. The third member is Wanuru Adina Binti Wan Salahuddin. And the last member is Ros Izati Binti Rosti. I will explain to you about the coding in the user part. So, I named this file as tvconfig.php. It contains database configuration. The database host will be localhost 3307. I'll change the port from 3306 to 3307 because of some error. So, I named the database as customer. So, here is the, to create the database connection. And here is to the check connection in the MySQL. Here is the user login coding. I named the file as user login.php. So here is the CSS that I have used. So in the login part, I use form which contain email and the password of the user. So, if the user click submit, it will direct to login underscore code the PHP. I use method post for this form. So, if the user click cancel, it will reset all the information that have been entered by the user before. Next is the login underscore code the PHP. I already declared it email, password and PWD as null. And it will find the email and the password in the table user. If they found the email that have been entered by the user and the database, also password in the database and the user enter is the same. It will redirect to the home.php. Or else it will echo invalid email or password. Now, I will explain about the registration of user coding. So, here I name it as user register.php and here is the CSS part. So, I make a form so that user can fill all the form with the things that need to be required. So, the action will be registration underscore code.php and I use method post. It requires user to enter their first name, last name, gender. So in the gender, I put radio button since it have only two and user have to choose either one, either female or male. Next, email, password. So here, if user click register, it will post all the information to registration underscore code .php, this file. If user click the cancel button, it will reset all the information. In the registration underscore code.php, I already declared F name, L name, gender, email, password, and PWD as null. So here I use the method post. And this is the SQL to insert all the data that have been inserted by the user to my SQL. If there is an error, it will display error. Here I will explain to you about the shopping cart coding. I named this file as index.php. So here is the CSS that contain in this page. So here is the button, navigation button that I put at the top of the page, like this. If the user click log out, 
it will ask user either they are confirmed to log out or not. If yes, it will redirect to the welcome page. Next is the shopping cart, the list of the item. I will select all the item that I have been declared in my product table in PHP my admin. It will be sorted by ID in the page. So in the page we contain the item name, price, description and add to cart button. If the user want to add to cart the item, they must click the add to cart button. This button. Name, price, description and add to cart. I also add view cart is where user can view how many item that they have been added into their cart. So when they click the view cart, it will redirect them to view cart.php, which is this. Here is the view cart coding. I save it as view cart.php. So in the view cart.php, this is the style of the page in this cart. I put table. So in the table, they have product, price, quantity, and the total that consists of the item that have been added by the user in the add to cart. So in the table, it will call the item name, price. Okay, for the quantity, I use control so that you, it will update the cart item and user can add or reduce the quantity of the item that they want. So here is the subtitle of the item. If the user want to delete the item, they need to click the cancel button. If the card empty, it will show that your card is empty. And after that, it will calculate all the item total price that you have been entered to the add to card like this. Here is the product price quantity. If you want to add, you can add or you can reduce it. When you add, it will be automatically calculated the total so if you're willing to cancel it just click the cancel button and this is where you want to see how the total of the item will be if you want to continue shopping just click this button okay this is my checkout coding i named this file as checkout.php in this coding it's contain contact details and payment details so I use form method which is post and the action to the card action.php. In the card action.php, I already make a session to it. So I have declared first name, last name, email, phone, address, bazaar num name card, card number, expired date, and CVV. If the user do not fill in one of the box, it will display the message. And all the information entered by the user will be inserted into the customer table and the payment table. So the user need to fill in all of this in the contact details and all the information in the payment details. If the user click place order, they will redirect to order success if they have been fill all the information that required. So here is the order success coding. I saved it as order success.php file. So this will appear when user successfully make their payment. So this is the CSS. So in the page, it will echo the order ID, print total, the date and time created, the first and last name, email and phone number. So at the below of that, it will I make it a table. So in the table, it will contain the product, price, quantity and the subtotal of the item that have been purchased by the customer. So I use select and I use left join since it to connect both table which is order item and product so it will fetch the information regarding the price the quantity and the subtotal if the 
submission fail, it will appear your order submission fail. If the user want to continue the shopping, they can click the button continue shopping or else they can click log out which will be redirect to the welcome page. Assalamualaikum and hi, welcome to Badis eBazaar, your number one eBazaar in Malaysia. First of all, you have to log in as user. Then, the user login interface will be appear. If you do not have any account, you need to make a new registration by clicking this registration button. You have to fill all the information required in the form. For example, Next, you have to click the register. By clicking that registration button, you can see that it will redirect back to user login page. So now you need to enter back the email and password that you have been registered before. Then click login. If you click cancel, it will be reset back the information. Okay, now the home page of our Buddies eBaza will appear af right after you click the login button. In our home page, we have a short explanation about what is Buddies eBaza. Next is our feedback from our customer, seller, and our food rider when they using our system. Okay, next is our eBaza. So as for now, we have not and sort branch so if the uh, customer want to view the branches in each state they just need to point to the state like this okay this is our phone number this is our email so if the customer want to view the menu that we saw they just can easily clicking this button okay next is our menu page it will appear all the dishes and beverage that we sell in our ebaza okay if the customer want to specify to main dish this will be appear side dish or beverage if the customer want to view the best seller in our eBaza, this is the best seller, which is nasi tomato, ayam percik, roti john, and martabak. If you want to order, just clicking the order now button. It will be redirect to the shopping cart. Okay, in the shopping cart, you can see all the menu that we sell in our eBazaar. If you're willing to buy any menu that we sold, you can just clicking add to cart. For example, you want to add to cart ayam purchase. So it will redirect you to the shopping cart. If you want to add more, just clicking continue shopping. Then you want to add Isoya for example. Okay. Then you want to add more, just clicking the continue shopping. If you notice, this view card have two items. If you want to view your card, just clicking this link. If you decided to add more Isoya, you just can add it. If you suddenly want to cancel the I am purchase, you just can click the cancel button and you click OK. So the I am purchase information will be delete and the I soya total will be click. So here is the total amount that you need to pay. If you want to check up, just click the check up button and it will redirect you to the check up page. If you're willing to add more items, just click this button and add 
tepung pelita example. So it will calculate tepung pelita and air soya. So the this is the sum of tepung pelita and air soya. So then we check out. <coughs> Next, we have to fill in the contact details and payment details before we place the order. So, for example, insert the email, phone number, address, UITM Tapa, for example, and the nearby Ibaza is Ipo. The payment. Surah Amin Then we click the place order So here It will appear order status With the Reference ID is 5 It means the Order ID is 5 so the total price will be narrowing it since 3 plus 6 equal to 9. So the place on is filled with date and time, the buyer name, email and phone. And here is the list of the item that have been buy by the customer. If the customer want to continue shopping, it have to click this button or else they can log out and you'll be directed to the welcome page. Okay, next, I want to show you my page payment admin site. So, in the customer table, you can see the customer name for Zura Amin that we have been insert before. The orders is narrowing it or the item, three or the item. And one for Azura. Payment have been made by debit card. This is the card number, expiry date, CVV, and the total price. So this is the register part. We can see here. The Azura, I mean, have been registered with us today. So that is the information about user. That's all. Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Salwa Binti Shuhur and I'm going to give a detailed explanation about Badis e Bazaar admin web page. So this is our welcome page and I'm going to log in as admin. This is our admin login page. In admin login page, as you can see here, there is form. So in the source code, we need to create the form. When the admin insert the data, which is email and password, the data will be inserted into this file, admin login code.php by using method post. Let's see the admin login code. In admin login code, we need to use this syntax. This is the syntax where we want to relate this file with another file. Let's see the connection.php. In connection.php, we use this syntax in order to connect with the database. Localhost is the name of our address. Root is the username and this is the password. In our database, there is no password, so it will leave blank. And Badis eBazaar is our database name. If the system fails to connect to the database, this message will be displayed. <coughs> 
This is the attribute, which is the data that need to be inserted by the admin, which is email and password. This is the SQL statement, and this is the important syntax where we want to connect our web page to the database. If the connection is successful, the system will fetch the data we insert in the form by using this syntax. And after the and after the connection is complete the system will go to the home page by using this syntax if the connection is failed this message will be displayed and the page will not go anywhere okay next we will look at the registration page okay this is admin registration page there is a form here okay this is the syntax that need to create a form when the admin insert all the data, all the data will go to this file by using method post. Let's look at admin register code.php. In admin register code, we also need connection.php file where it's where it's contain the important syntax that, that will connect our web page to the database. This is the attribute which is the data that need to be inserted by the admin and then this is the SQL statement if all the data is successfully inserted into the database the web page will head to the another page but if the connection is failed the system will display the error in our SQL statement okay next let's say i already have an account okay this is our home page but this is bazaar let's see the source code okay as you can see here there is header this is the syntax that need to create the top navigation and then there is this is the syntax that we need to click the site navigation. Let's look back. Okay, this is our top navigation. This is our site navigation. Uh, in the home page, we just display the information about our website. Why we? What is the function of this web page? And this web page is built due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, let's move to the next page. Let's see the customer page. This is all the data from the database. First of all, when we want to fetch all the data from the database, this three syntax is very important. The connection with our database, query, and result. And if the connection is successful, by using this table, all the data are being fetched from the database. As you look here, there is add data. When I click the button add data, admin can insert the data of the customer. For this, I use bootstrapping. Let's see the code. For the button add data, this is the syntax. By using the type button, this is the data target. By using bootstrapping, and this is the syntax for form for the admin to insert the customer data. When the admin insert all the data, all the data will be inserted into this file by using method post. Okay, to insert data, of course, this syntax is very important to connect with our database. And then uh, by using the method post area in the form, the data will be post here. And this is the attribute where the admin need to insert into the form. This is the query and this is the result. If the connection is successful, the web page will head to this page. But if the connection is not successful, the system will display the SQL the error in the SQL statement next okay, there is edit button here when I click the edit button 
the existing data is being displayed. Let's see this code for edit. For edit data, I also use bootstrapping. Okay, from this button syntax, I type here edit button. And then this button will point to the to the script here. There is the same words I type at the at the edit button earlier from this Java script. It will point to the edit bootstrapping. This is the edit bootstrapping syntax. In edit bootstrapping, there is a form where the admin can edit the data of the customer. Uh, let's say the admin want to update the email of the customer. And after that, all the existing data and the updated data will go to this file by using method post. Let's see the code for update code1.php. In update code1.php, we need this important syntax in order for us to connect with the database. This is the attribute that the admin need to insert into the form. This is the query statement. This is the result. If the connection is successful, the existing page will head to this page. But if the connection is failed, the system will display the error of the SQL statement. Okay, that is for edit data. Next, I will show you on how the system delete data. When I click the delete data, this bootstrapping will appear. On how this is work, this is the button syntax for delete. In this syntax, I use this word, delete button. This word, it will point to this JavaScript here. Where there is the same words as earlier in the button syntax and from this javascript it will point to the delete bootstrapping this is the delete bootstrapping as you can see here there is also form but i keep it hidden because i think it not necessary to show the information when we want to delete it so here i ask for the confirmation of the admin whether the admin want to delete the data or not if the admin doesn't if the admin doesn't want to delete the data the admin need to click cancel button but if the admin still want to delete the data they need to click delete button all this data will be inserted into this file by using method post let's see delete code.php in delete code1.php as usual, this syntax is very important. SQL statement and result. This is the attribute where it contains the data that the admin want to delete. And if the connection is successful, the web page will head to this page. But if the connection is failed, uh, the system will display the error in the SQL statement. That is for delete selection. And after that, I want to show you the selection for search. Let's say I search for ID 1004. And the system will display the customer information that we want. Let's see the code. As you can see here, there is a form I create here. Then this is the syntax that we need to use in order to create the search input. When we type at the search input, the data will go to this file by using method post. Let's see the customer search.php. Okay, in customer search.php, I just copy paste back all the code in customer group.php into the customer search.php 
the only difference in the customer search .php is is the structure of the table. In order to display the specific data that we want, first of all, of course, we need to click the syntax where we want to connect with the database. And this is the data that we get from the customer code.php which is the form earlier, the search input. And this is the table where we want to display the specific data. That's it for search selection. The interface I showed earlier is going to be same for another page, for customer page, employee page, order page. And now I want to show you how the system log out. When I click the button log out, there is two selection here. You can click here or here. It just lead to the same page. When I click here, and when I click here, the system also will display this alert. Let's say I want to log out. And the system will lead to welcome page. Let's see the coding for log out. For button log out, this is the syntax of button log out. As you can see here, there is on click. This is the syntax that we use to call the JavaScript. The JavaScript here, when the button log out is being clicked by using confirm here, and the system will lead to this page. And now let's see the demo of Buddy's eBazaar admin web page. Okay, I will click at login as admin. Let's say I didn't have any account yet. Let's see if the data is successfully insert into the database or not. Okay, here. Okay, this is the information that we insert earlier. As you can see here, the database is not showing the real password of our admin. As you can see here in the in source code, if we use this syntax, we use MD5 in order to protect the password of the admin or user. Now let's get back to our web page. Okay, let's enter the email that we registered earlier. And we successfully entered to our web page. This is our home page. This is the information about our web page. Feedback founder and contact now let's see the customer page you also can click here and it also lead to the same page this is button add data we will try add any data And the data we insert earlier is being here. Let's say data, the database, if the data are there. And the data is successfully insert into the, the, into the database. Okay, let's try for edit. Let's say I want to change her phone number. And the phone number is being updated. As well for delete. And as you can see here, there is no data that we give it earlier. Let's see data, the database, whether the data is being delayed or not. 
yes the data is nowhere to be found here the data is successfully delete now let's try for search let's let's say i search for 1008 On and all the customer data that which the customer ID is one zero zero eight is being displayed. All the interface I show earlier is same for employee employee page order page order line page item menu bazaar and payment okay let's try to log out and system is successfully log out okay that's all from me thank you